If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable FIFA 17 coins, make sure to check out MMOGAH. The link to their website is down in the description and use the code S2G to get yourself a 3% off on your purchase. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to an ultimate team video on this channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the new second in form Kylian Mbappe Lotten card. His card honestly looks incredible and the Monaco youngster has been doing so well in the French League. Has scored 11 goals, I believe, in the French League, which is absolutely ridiculous. So in this video, we are going to be building a capable team around him and we will play a couple of Div 1 games to see how this card performs. Also, in yesterday's My Player video, I asked you guys to guess which player I was going to make a video on. Of course, gave you all a couple of hints and the amount of people that actually guessed it was Kylie and Mbappe Lawton. Absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, so before we get started off with the video, drop a like if you guys are excited for Ultimate Team content. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 content. Before we build the squad around Kylian Mbappe, let's actually have a look at his card. So he's got 85 pace, 80 shooting, 75 passing, 84 dribbling and 76 physical. A pretty good card I'd say, 5'10 is his height so he isn't going to score you those headers. High medium work rates, right footed, 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. 34,000 coins is what I bought him for, pretty good card I'd say. Let's now build a squad around Kylie and Mbappe. So starting from the goalkeeper position, we are going to go with a PSG keeper in Kevin Trapp. Haven't tried him out on FIFA 17, so let's see what he does for me. In the right centre back position, we're going with another PSG player, Marquinhos. And in the right back position, we're going with yet another PSG player in Sergio Aurier. So it's already turning out to be a decent defense with players like Marquinhos and Aurier. In the left centre back position, this is where the team gets interesting. I'm going with in for Maspeliqueta. He is my favorite centre back in this game, even though originally he is a left back, but this in form card is a position change card. He's just superb for me. In the left back role, we are going with yet another Chelsea player, Marcos Alonso. The Spaniard is just fantastic in this game. People say that. That he's the best left back in the Premier League. He's just superb in this game. So guys, now that the defense is sorted, let's now move on to the midfield. In the left centre mid position, I've gone with a player that is widely regarded as the best midfielder in the game and that is in form Kante. I've played so much with him and I can honestly say that he is ridiculous in this game. So guys, for the centre centre mid role, I've gone with a CDM from Monaco as well. That is this Champions League man of the match Fabinho card. That defending physical pace all looks amazing. He looks like a pretty amazing card. Maybe the Kante of the French League. We will see how he performs for us in the right sentiment role we've gone with someone a bit more attacking and that is going to be Draxler from PSG so let's put him in the team just gone with the regular card and because I have not got enough coins to get the special one so yeah let's put the regular Draxler in the team so this is how the midfield looks pretty cool I'd say you know with the inform cards the man of the match cards so guys, that's it for the midfield and it looks pretty good I'd say. We've got the attacking talent, we've got the defensive capabilities. Let's now move on to the front three. So alongside Mbappe in the left wing position, we are going with someone from Monaco as well. Thomas Lemar. I haven't tried him out again on FIFA 17 but he's got a pretty cool card. 83 pace, 75 shooting, 77 passing, 82 dribbling. He looks pretty good in this game. Let's see how he plays. Now in the right wing position, we are going with someone who has been compared with Messi. I've got one of his special cards, so we are going to be trying him out, and that is Bernardo Silva. This guy is ridiculous. His ball control in real life, it's just superb. It's dribbling as well. So guys, this is it for the team. We're going to be using this team to see how Kylian Mbappe Lawton plays. It's honestly an amazing team. Rate this team out of 10 guys down in the comment section. Eager to see what you think. Let's now jump into some Division 1 gameplay. This is the team that we are going to be facing in our first game today. He's got a very good side with N'Golo, Kante, Matic and of course Antoine Griezmann up front. He's got a few bronze and silver plays. I think he's going to sub them off. But anyways guys, for this video, I'm going to be doing it as a post-com instead of a live commentary for the gameplay. If you guys want me to do live commentary for the gameplay, just drop a comment and let me know. Before I give you guys my opinions on Mbappe and this team, have a look at this goal. Honestly, this was the best goal of the episode. And look at that man, Julian Draxler from about 25 to 30 yards out just curls this one in. Fantastic from Draxler, 1-0 to us. That was just a special goal from Draxler. 
Draxler is amazing in this game. I've just used him for about a couple of games and I can already see why he's so good. And of course, you guys should try and get him because he's so cheap as well. Anyways, my opinion on this team. Now, honestly, I wasn't too convinced. It wasn't feeling good at all, especially down the wings. Lemar didn't have four-star skill moves. And the way I play, I need four-star skill moves. So it wasn't really working for me. And Barbie had his first opportunity to score there. But of course, Loris made the save. And again, the defense in this team, man, it was really poor. I mean, Aspeliqueta is fantastic, but Marquinhos, man, he lacks the physical prowess in this game and also is in the quick of center backs and that's one reason he just got pace abused in this video but we still were playing decent football in this game Bernardo Silva is probably the only attacker who was really impressed with in this game he was just superb he played a great pass into Lemar but I don't know why he was waiting to get the shot off I didn't like Lemar at all he was just garbage and Barpe was at least getting into those positions a fair few times and was getting good shots off and always was pressing the back line creating chances or defending for us in that way but Lemar he was just shit man like seriously and as you can see again Griezmann gets in behind a far defense and scores another goal and does the classic hotline bling celebration another player I want to talk about is Fabinho you wouldn't see too many of his highlights but he gets the job done especially in midfield he gets the ball off the attackers and midfielders starts counter attacks and helps and builds up play a lot I really enjoyed using him of course he's not better than Kante Kante for me is the best CDM in this game but yeah, Fabinho is pretty good. This was actually some good build-up play in this slip. Mbappe finds Fabinho, who gets the shots off from a tight angle. But Hugo Lloris, again, what a beast of a keeper he is, makes a very good save. And then, guys, Dio had a chance on the counter. I mean, this guy had a chance on the counter. Griezmann just gets away from our defense so easily, gets the shot off. But Kevin Trapp makes a decent save there. Kevin Trapp actually was decent, but he was not nothing special. Like, you know, plays like Butland or De Gea are much better than him. So keep that in in mind if you are purchasing uh, of course Kevin Trapp but look at this in the 78th minute a great chance for us Bernardo Silva gets the ball down the wings goes past one plays it into Lemar and Lemar misses a crucial chance should have at least kept that one on target and again as I've said Lemar's finishing was just god awful man he wasn't finishing any chances he received and wasn't doing much at all here's Kante on the ball finds Draxland in the 86th minute we did manage to equalize what a strike that was from Julian Draxler. This video is supposed to be about Mbappe, but it's Draxler who's stealing the show, man. What a strike that was from him. Now Mbappe linking up well with Lema. Back into Mbappe, gets tackled. Now Lema finds N'Golo Kante, who takes a very good touch to get away from the defenders. And this was just amazing. N'Golo Kante turns the defender, gets the shot off, goes near post, and we take the lead in the 90th minute. Undeservingly, because he had a lot of chances to put this game away to be fair he didn't take them we took our chances and we are going to be getting three points in division one i just need one more point now which hopefully we'll get in the next game and of course i can hold division one that'll be pretty cool indeed we get a win in our first game with this team but to be fair mbappe who i thought would be the star of this team has turned out to be a spectator so far hopefully in the second game he can put in a better performance but the second team we are going to be facing in Div 1 is this. Holy shit, man. Cristiano Ronaldo, SBC Suarez, George Best, legend George Best, of course. Pogba, Vieira, and SBC. No, that's not SBC. That's Man of the Match, Arturo Vidal in midfield. Ferdinand, Laurent Blanc. What is this team, man? How are we going to compete with this? That's just a mental team, but Bernardo Silva has other things in his mind. Look at that from Silva. Gets away from a couple of plays in a great position. Wrong foot Vieira and then smashes the ball. Bottom right corner. The Silva card is just superb. He was so consistent and so good in the previous game. And he started off so well in this game. What a strike, man. Courtois, there's no way he's getting that. And again, I'm saying this. This video was supposed to be about Mbappe. But it's players like Fabinho, Bernardo Silva and Draxler who are stealing the show. But the defense is letting us down as we let George Best score there. To be fair, letting George Best score is, you know, we can't blame that on the defense. George Best is that good. Look at that. Bernardo gets away from the defense again. Courtois makes the save. But for some reason, we get a penalty. I don't know why, but I'm going to take it. A chance for Mbappe to at least score a goal now. Let's see if Mbappe can score this one. And I go towards the left of the keeper and Mbappe finally scores. 
in this game he actually started out well so I guess he deserves the goal he was getting into good positions making good runs in the previous game he was god awful but in this game he was much better so we are leading two goals to one now and now this guy has an opportunity Cristiano Ronaldo finds Luis Suarez who plays it into Pizek who is in a great position and there you go bang the red Pizek does score two all now in this game I was honestly just so disappointed with my defense, Marquinhos and Aurier were just so poor for me and I think especially Marquinhos, he just wasn't doing anything as Vidal here has a great chance to put this guy into the lead and now Vieira finds Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo does well, plays it into Arturo Vidal who takes the shot and it hits the post. We've actually been pretty lucky in this game. Now, talking about the goalkeeper, I think Kevin Trapp was decent, but he's just an average keeper. Nothing too good, not bad as well. But yeah, also the midfield, it was just amazing, man. We, we were getting quite a few goals from midfield. Draxler was good, Kante is obviously amazing, Fabinho was great as a defensive midfielder and I really enjoyed using this midfield. Now talking about the attack, I think it was a bit inconsistent, as especially Lemar, he was really poor, I didn't really like him and I'm probably not going to be using him ever again because he's that bad. I mean if I use his inform maybe it'll be good but his normal can't, definitely not. But yeah, Mbappe was average, nothing too good, not bad as well. But Bernardo Silva, man, he was superb. The fact that this video is supposed to be at Mbappe and other players are stealing the show, that is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Mbappe, I don't think it's worth the 34,000 coins. But yeah, Bernardo Silva is in form card, definitely is. I'm sure he's around the same. He's just superb. And we managed to hold Div 1. That is actually pretty good. And of course, I get the extra 7,500 coins. Not bad at all. And this, guys, is pretty much the end of this video. I'm just going to be trying and getting out one Ultimate Team video every week. And that is going to be, you know, somewhat of a squad builder with a new inform card that's released every week. So next week, if we have a decent good inform card, I'll just build a team around him and have some fun in Ultimate Team. Let me know if you guys want more of these kind of videos because I really enjoy making them. Hopefully you guys will enjoy watching it as well. For those of you guys who are fans of the My Player series, that will be returning tomorrow so you guys can expect another episode of the My Player series going live on the channel tomorrow. But that's pretty much it for this video. Drop a like if you guys have enjoyed it. I'll be back next week with another Ultimate Team video. Until then, we've got a lot of career mode stuff coming to the channel. Do subscribe if you are new around here so that you do not miss a single upload. Also, drop a like if you guys have enjoyed it. And follow me on Twitter to interact with me. You guys can tweet me at official S2G is my handle. But that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys very soon with another video on this channel.